It sounds like the dogs were really barking there. We come to you now with the weekly box office report, and unfortunately, it was not a good weekend for Hollywood. That's right, Tom. The latest actioner from Crossbrand Studios and third entry in the Toadman franchise, Toadman Generations suffered a fatal blow at the multiplex, only making $40 million in its opening weekend. It is the lowest opening weekend for not only a Toadman movie, this movie was so motherfucking bad that I asked for my motherfucking money back. But any Crossbrand movie, it's in the last five years. I miss my sister's wedding for this. Not only did the movie underperform financially, but it also premiered to scathing reviews from both critics and fans alike. Now folks, I've been known to defend these types of movies before, almost to the point where I felt like an outcast. But after seeing this, <laughs> I think I'll stop shilling, thank you very much. Lazy storytelling, bad acting, and why the fuck would you give the original Toad Man less screen time than that feminazi Toad Woman? Fuck! It's just pure indolence. Indolence. Made on a whopping $300 million budget, Toad Man Generations and even Crossbrand as a studio are not gonna recover from this riveting loss. I'm telling you, Melanie, it's gonna take a wild group of guys to come up with a perfect film in order to get them out of this ditch. <laughs> <laughs> what a shit show. How the hell did they not realize that was a shit show? <laughs> I mean, okay, if somebody gave you a bad script for a bunch of money, wouldn't you just take it? That's the problem. Actors are being paid way too much nowadays. Crossbrand could have saved the rainforest with that kind of cash. They're a film company, not environmental activists. In all seriousness, where did it go wrong? Hey, dude, I'm tired. Do you really want to dive into hypotheticals right now? I get inquisitive when I'm drunk. No, they should have done a reboot. A fresh approach. Or wait even longer and make a legacy sequel to the original Toad Man. Don't waste your money on contracts. Use your budget to hire talent. Real creative talent. I'm not talking about a newcomer or Michael freaking Bay. Hire a good director with a huge following who will develop a fresh, different take on the character. Like Chris Nolan? Sure, if you want to bore your audience to death. By raising a hundred questions. Now, to make a bona fide hit, you need broad appeal, something that gets people of every shape, size, color, gender, and pronoun into that theater. Careful. Right, people need to be careful. Create natural diversity. That way, anyone can be Toad Man, and single white nerds can't bitch about it. Hey man, I'm all for discussing this tomorrow, but I have to get some coding done for class tonight. Coding. You and your digits. Aster, one of these days, you've gotta see the bigger, Picture. Hey, what if we made something that was a guaranteed hit? Mm, do I look like Steven Spielberg? Well, no, but if we play our cards right, we may not even need old hacks like him anymore. I'm gonna get my computer. I don't know how to use my computer. Are you high on something? I'm high on brilliance, man. Sheer brilliance. Aster, what if we made a software that could make movies? I'm sure we could make that happen with help from the good people at Adobe. No, no, no. What if we made a software that could become the basis for making movies? Like, 
Like, what if it could predict the critical and financial success for potential movies? Like an AI? An AI that develops movies. You know, that could work. What do normal people want when they go out to the movie? They want stars, genre, experience. Now, a good, successful movie needs good marketing. Darren, Darren, wake up. Dude, you have to see this. What am I looking at? This is Reelin. Is this the... So, the coding project, once I turned it in, I retooled the code, I took your notes, and I collected some data. And? I completely restructured the algorithm. You made a wiki page? Give me a genre. Just name a genre. Horror. All right, now a director. Sam Raimi. Try thing outside the box. Oh, shit. Um, Damien Chazelle. All right, now an actor. Anna Darmus. All right, we now have the potential revenue and critic score of the movie that you suggested. All at the push of a button. Dude, do you realize what we could make with this? Alice, baby, listen. Hey, Astro. Alice? So we wanted to catch up and see if you had any upcoming projects because we- Hey, Astro, could you please tell this sorry son of a bitch to shut up? Alice- Darren, could you please stop talking for a moment? Look, I'm sorry about the way things ended a few months ago. I was a shitty boyfriend, okay? You deserve better than me. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. Oh. So you're just gonna brush over an actual apology. Got it. I... We just wanna help you make your next student film. In his defense, Alice, we honestly need help making a movie. We'd like your expertise. You could ask literally anyone else. But you must be desperate if you're coming to me. Why? We've developed a tool that you could only dream of. What if you had access to something that could guarantee your success as a trailblazing female director? You're not hustling enough tees, are you? This is what was inside the briefcase from Pulp Fiction. Congratulations, you're just as funny as every film bro on campus. This is Reelin. It's a program that tracks the financial and critical success of every major Hollywood actor, film, and director. But this isn't just a discount IMDb. It's also, think of it as a fortune teller. In simple terms, you type in the variables under the director, actor, and genre categories, and the AI will predict the potential success of a film. I would explain it more thoroughly, but I know you're a film major, not a computer science major, so. Thanks. I had Aster design a sub-platform specifically for this student body. The film majors, the actors, the artists, all in one place so you can come up with the best filmmaking team on campus. Oh my God. I feel like if Mark Zuckerberg split himself in two, except only one of you is a complete douche. If you can use this to make the perfect film, you'll literally headline student film festivals nationwide. You could be on the news and everything. Alice, the master Taft. Maestro. Okay. Alice, the maestro Taft. You're right, that flows better. You know what? I'll take you up on this but only because part of me wants to see this blow up in your face. No offense, Astrid. None taken. Good actors hard to come by? I'm weighing my options. Hold on. Hmm. Only a couple hundred views. 
It's less views than you have subscribers. I wonder what went wrong. Whoa, who was Cameron Sutherland? Uh, he's just one of the actors that appear in the conservatory database. If I recall, he's a freshman. He's also my boyfriend. Boyfriend? You're dating a freshman? He's really nice and idealistic. Naturally talented too. You'd like him. Well, let's just see what the computer thinks of this combination. I mean, unless you want another don't worry darling on your hands. Oh my God, 100,000 views? Uh, that's a rough estimate based on the average number of views on your channel, plus Cameron's, plus the rest of the performing arts student body. Holy shit. This could be my big break. I better start writing tonight. Uh, at, oh. I can see it now. Two friends who met online finally have the opportunity to meet each other in person. At first they're shy, but eventually they let their walls down and learn to live in the moment. Depending on how well I pitch this to my advisors, this could be a real hit. How well we pitch this. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. 